Hi there, it's Mike here from Smart Life AV, and today we're going to take a closer look at the Crestron TSR 310 Home Automation Premium Touchscreen Remote Control. So, Crestron were established in 1972 as a technology company, back when technology wasn't that big, and over many decades they have become the most reliable number one brand in technology in their sector. So, they provide solutions for uh, residential homes as well as commercial businesses and one of their key products in the residential space is Crestron Home which is a home automation system. Naturally they make uh, hardware alongside the software platform and there's two ways to control this uh, system using remote controls. The first is the HR310 which is a full button remote control and the second is the premium touchscreen remote control. So, of the two options, what are the primary differences? Well, the HR310 is a battery-powered remote. The TSR310 is a rechargeable remote. And it comes with a docking stand in the box uh, for you to be able to easily charge and place the remote when not in use. The battery inside will work for five and a half hours before it needs recharging enough for average use during a normal day. The docking stand itself is very well weighted. It's got a gloss finish around the side and a matte finish on the top. If you can see inside, it has uh, two pins and an angled dock for where the remote will make contact to prevent it accidentally falling when you go to pick it up. And around the back, it just has a DC input to plug into your plug socket um, and the compact size of it means it's not going to be a big uh, obstruction beside your bed or on a coffee table in your living room or on an office table. It has a very small footprint. Now the remote itself is very ergonomically designed. It's got a easy to grip matte black uh, back. On the side we've got the gloss uh, trim and at the front we've got a matte black finish again. Now, the touchscreen is a three inch LCD screen. It's a very crisp, clear, and easy to read screen. One of the really cool features about the screen is it has automatic backlight adjustment. So the remote will know if you're in a dark space or a bright space. Let's say it's the evening and you're in your bed and you wanna watch TV. Uh, when you pick up the remote, you don't wanna be blinded by a bright screen. So it can sense that the room is dark and therefore will only turn on uh, enough brightness for you to be able to see what you're doing. Likewise, if you're in a bright open, open plan kitchen living area, the sun is beaming through the windows, it knows that the room is really bright and therefore it's gonna turn up the brightness so you can still see what's happening on the screen. A really nice little detail uh, which makes using the remote easier and nicer to use. All the major buttons are present. So on the top row, we have the power button and also a voice button. Now voice has become really popular and the Crestron TSR 310 remote allows you to use your favorite voice assistant, whether that's Alexa, Google or Siri uh, to carry out your cool home automation commands uh, using simple voice, voice control. In the middle, we have the general um, buttons which you'd find on normal remotes, including volume up and down, page up and down, and quick access to guide. Uh, the D-pad, which allows you to navigate menus, and uh, the D-pad can also work for colored controls. So uh, one great use of this is when the BBC are showing uh, Wimbledon, for example, and you have a different match on a different button on the on the coloured remote, you can easily use those coloured features via the Crestron remote as well. So you don't need to go and pick up the TV remote to, to watch a different match, for example. Down the bottom, we have your playback controls. So your playback controls are perfect for when you're using apps. Now, when you're using apps, you probably want play, pause, skip, next, same when you're listening to music. So those controls are enabled at the bottom, as well as a record button for recording your favorite shows on your satellite TV box. Speaking of satellite TV, you may notice that this remote doesn't have a number pad. And that's because 
all the cool stuff happens at the top on the touchscreen. So one of our favorite integrations for this remote is the touchscreen will display logos of your favorite channels, which you can set up yourself. So let's say you like watching Sky Sports, you'll see the Sky Sports logo, you press the Sky Sports button and it will just jump to the channel. You don't need to remember the channel number, um, you just tap on the favorite icon. Um, and this works really well with, with the Sky Q integration. So with Sky Q, it even allows you to see what's happening right now on your favorite channel what time the next program is going to start and what it's going to be, which is amazing because it's basically like having a mini TV guide in the palm of your hand and you don't actually need to disturb uh, whatever someone else is watching to see what's happening on your favorite channels. So you can do that just by looking at the remote. Absolutely fantastic. Um, and the backlight again on all the buttons makes it very easy to read in, in dark environments as well. Now, this is more than a remote control. What is the purpose of having a home automation remote? Well, that one remote can control all of your media, but also other parts of your home. So now let's say in a traditional sense, if you had a living room with surround sound, a Blu-ray player um, and a skybox, you would essentially have a TV remote, a skybox remote, a media player remote, you would have a Blu-ray player remote, an AV receiver remote. There's already five remotes there. And remembering how to use all the functions of all the devices is gonna be very difficult. So a home automation system makes that very, very simple, even for the, the most uh, non-tech savvy people who are gonna use it. So if you wanna watch Sky, you press the Sky button. If you wanna watch Netflix, you press the Netflix button. And, and this remote then becomes the, the remote to control whatever is contextually on the screen in front of you. In addition to that, let's say this is in a bedroom and you wanna control the air conditioning and you wanna close your blinds and you wanna dim your lights. So you can do that all from the same remote. So it can control other parts of technology in the home, whether that's air conditioning, blinds, curtains, lighting, you name it, if it can be controlled via the Crestron system, there's a good chance you can control it using the Crestron remote. Now, other ways to interact with the Crestron system include using your phone, um, but normally when you wanna watch TV, um, people still like to press physical buttons and that's why remotes are still really important. Nobody likes going into an app to then change a channel. It's very inconvenient. However, you do also have dual control options from Crestron's own uh, wall mount and tabletop touch screens, uh, which we'll explore, explore further in another video. But for now, if you're interested in having the best home automation system on the market installed, um, Crestron Home, we can offer that at Smart Life AV. So feel free to reach out via the normal means, the website, email, phone, or also via social media at Smart Life AV. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video.